Um, uh, thanks for coming to see good kids. Uh, this story is, this play is based on uh, real events that happened six years ago in Steubenville, Ohio. And it's fairly, um, fairly accurate as to kind of what went down. Um, we're going to do a little debrief afterward, um, a little quick talk back with the, with the cast. Um, and yeah, so turn off your cell phones, please. Turn them to silent. Please don't get them out because actors, we're so close, actors can see you on your screens and it's really distracting. So please be respectful of your fellow students. And that's it. All right. Enjoy, good kids. people tell about you. And then there's a story you tell about yourself. There's what you believe. Not what you believe, what you want to believe. And then there's what you know. The things you know. In your gut. In your heart. Because some things you just know. I mean, come on, you just know. How is it that everybody all of a sudden knows everything? All these people who weren't even there, and all of a sudden, they all know what happened. I have a friend, and she has a friend, and her friend, she was there that night. I know, me too. I do too. My friend's friend's friend, she saw everything. <laughs> Mine too, like everything. Like what? Like, like everything. everything. What they're saying, it's just not true. Of course it's not true. People say all kinds of things. People hear what they hear. They see what they want to see. My little Johnny would never do something like that. How could he even think he would do something like that? My little Johnny is a good kid. Mary Sue would never do something like that. My Mary Sue? Never. Mary Sue is a good kid. We're all good kids, every single one of us. What does that even mean? It means being a good person. It means being like a good, decent person. So why is it that every time some kid does something totally messed up, everybody's all like, I don't get it, he was such a good kid, why? Totally, it's always why, why, why? why? It's because they didn't know. They didn't know what he was, not really. Are you kidding me? They knew damn well what he was, what she was. They just didn't want to deal with it. Good kids! Yeah, right. But they got it wrong. Don't you get it? They got it all wrong. What they said, it didn't happen that way. They're making it be something that it wasn't. Dude, don't you get it? It doesn't matter what they say. Who cares what they say? They're gonna say whatever they wanna say. I mean, people say all kinds of crazy shit. But what they said, it didn't happen. Not the way they said. Why don't they believe me? It's because newsflash, people lie. They lie about big things, they lie about little things, they lie about everything in between. Everybody lies. Not everybody. Please. Everybody lies! No, not everybody. Okay, so maybe they don't lie. Maybe they just forget. They mix things up. They get it all twisted. Because maybe they got a little tipsy. Not tipsy, drunk. Hammered. Hi. And that impairs their ability to think. Translation, it makes them stupid. <laughs> Whatever, the point being, it's all just... He said, she said. We never know the truth. Oh well. Nah, see, that's how it used to be. In the olden days, but not anymore. Not since this. Now we don't just know the truth, we see it unfold like one endless Kodak moment in every post. Every tweet. Every Instagrammed moment. But it's not that simple. It's not the whole story. So what happened? I mean, what really happened? Do you know? You must know. You were there. Because I don't remember. It's like that night. It's like someone took an eraser and just wiped it all away. Say something. Say something! It's not, it's not what you think. Yeah? Well, I really don't know what to think. People said these things. They said all these things about me. And I was like, that's not me. That girl you're describing, that's not me. They got it all wrong. They made it out to be this black and white thing, and it's not. They twisted it around and made it something it's not. They said I wanted it. They said I asked for it. They said I had it coming. They said I was that kind of girl, and I was like, you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. They don't know anything about either of us. The guy they made me out to be, I'm not that guy. All these people judging me, acting like they know me. They don't know me. They had this story they wanted to tell, like it was already written in their heads, like they already knew the ending. 
Like they had made up their minds and they didn't even know the truth. It's like they didn't want to know. I mean, they could have just asked. Yeah. So if I ask you what happened, I mean, what really happened, would you tell me? Would you tell me the truth? Because I'm walking around here not knowing. And it's like everyone else knows or thinks they know. Everyone except me. And part of me doesn't even really want to know. Part of me just wishes it would all just go away. But there's this other part of me that's just like, tell me, please, just tell me what happened. The whole thing, the whole thing, it, it just got out of hand. It got stupid. The whole thing, it just got so stupid. And things happened. They just happened. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Nice try, guy. Only problem is, I'm not buying it. And once people out there know what happened, I don't think they will either. And they will know. Make no mistake, I'll make sure of it. TBT, people. AKA Throwback Thursday, because you got to rewind a little for it to all make sense. Let me give you a pick stitch of where this all went down. A little history 101 so you can have a picture in your mind. This town where we're from, it's that place off the highway that you see on your way to somewhere else. It's tracked housing and mini malls as far as the eye can see. It's the glow of the JCPenney, Olive Garden, Walmart, and Mickey D's. It's the diner and the dive bar with Kelly Clarkson on the jukebox. It's the Elks Lodge and the bowling alley and the Lutheran church they built in the 70s that looks like some weird spaceship, because I guess that's what churches looked like back in the day. It's cruising down the main drag on a Saturday night past the Ford dealership and the 7-Eleven and the one motel in town, owned by some Indian family no one really knows. It's the factory that went under, or the one that's about to. It's neon lights and empty parking lots and not a whole hell of a lot to look forward to. But the one thing that matters more than anything, the one thing that people hold on to, is football! High school football. We got one high school. The team is called the Mustangs. Meet the Mustangs. Football! Most people love the Mustangs. Kids, their parents, their parents' parents. Everybody goes to the games. Everybody wears the red and white. And everybody knows the words to the song. Here's to the red and the white. We're the Mustangs and we come to fight. Give a cheer, show your might, for the victory's in sight. Fight, 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 fight. Go Mustangs! Let's go, boys! You're somebody who doesn't give a damn about football. You've got to deal with the fact that this town, this place, is all about the Mustangs. And if you're a player, well, that's about as big as you can get in this little microcosm we call home. Even if you're not the sharpest tool in the shed, even if you're kind of weak sauce and bland as a piece of toast. Even if you're mean as a pit viper and you're never gonna play college ball because you're just not good enough. And that's a fact. Hey! She better shut her mouth. You better shut your mouth, bitch! Such a gentleman. Keep it classy, Ty. I'm counting on you to keep it classy. Like I was saying, you could be a complete sociopath. Some sad, pathetic jackass who thinks all girls are bitches. You could be that guy that eventually goes postal. That angry guy who can't get laid and thinks the world is out to get him. You could be that guy, only nobody would care. If you play for the Mustangs, that's all anyone cares about. That's all anyone sees. And if you're Connor Wyland, if you're the best QB the Mustangs have seen in the last decade, and maybe ever, and the college scouts are coming around, you're actually kind of a nice guy. Or so they tell me. Well, you're in a class by yourself. You're the golden boy. You're like a god. Hey, Connor. Hey, Connor. I'm Kylie. I'm new. My family just moved here from Milwaukee. We both have Mrs. Supchuk from American history. I did that report in the Battle of Gettysburg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I had a little problem with my PowerPoint. The screen froze up. I couldn't get the cursor to go where I oh wanted it to go. Oh, my God. Are you it's still an older talking? Brother's computer and Is she I really still talking? Sorry, sometimes I talk too much. Yeah, you think? It's like, I just start talking and I can't stop. It's like, it's like a mouth is a life of its own. Kylie. <laughs> yeah? You need to shut your pie hole. 
Do you understand me? Ah! What did I say? No talking. Not a word. In fact, you talk before I tell you you can talk, and I swear to God, I will take a staple gun and staple your lips up for the remainder of the school year. Not if you understand me. Man, girls are crazy. Well, it's better crazy than dumb. <laughs> Dude, she just called you dumb. She just called you dumb. That's funny. Shut up! Hey, Brianna. Hey, Connor. There's a party, Friday night. Oh, yeah, where at? Amber's place. Amber's having a party? Her parents are out of town. You should check it out. Cool. Maybe I'll swing by. Cool. Cool. Later. See ya. I'm having a party Friday night. My parents are out of town. Everybody will be there. There's going to be cake. There's going to be jello shots and trash can punch. There's going to be really good music, as opposed to lame stupid music. People will dance. Uh, there will be dancing. People will hook up. There will be drama, because there's always drama. Maybe there'll be a fight. Maybe some neighbor will call the cops. Maybe some moron will jump off of my roof, and I'll make a video of it and send it to America's Funniest Home Videos and win $100,000. People are going to get fucked up and do all kinds of stupid shit, and then people are going to talk about it, because that's what people do. People talk. That's like the way of the world. That's just what people do. One thing before I forget. No randoms, please. No emo-loving freaks. No, I write poetry like Sylvia Path. No, I listen to Morrissey and The Cure and dye my hair some ugly-ass shader red. None of that shit. Just normal people, please. No freaks, no geeks, no losers. Are you talking to me? If the shoe fits, freak, loser. Okay, all right. So here's my question, genius. What's normal? The opposite of you. Wow, the opposite of me. That's deep. That's kind of like a cone. A what? A paradox to be meditated upon. A tool used to train Buddhist monks to abandon reason and gain sudden enlightenment. Example, the sound of one hand clapping. I don't get it. It hurts, huh? When your brain's so small, a brain like yours thinking's really gotta hurt. Oh, one new thought. There's no room in my head. It hurts. It hurts. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna stop you right there. Can I just say, people have this idea that boys are more violent than girls. In my experience, that's just not true. Maybe they don't go all fight club on you, although some do. But they're meaner. Girls are meaner. Girls take mean to a whole new level. They don't forgive, they don't forget. A boy will break your jaw. A girl will break your soul. And sometimes, she'll break your soul and your jaw. The opposite of you. Let's start with cool. Cool as in player. Cool as in banging. Cool as in fresh. Cool as in sexy. Cool as in sick. Cool as in rock star. Cool as in epic. Cool as in swag. Cool as in awesome. Cool as in amazing. And then you have the opposite of cool. Lame. Beat. Tired. Weak. Stupid. Dumb. Lame-o. Douchey. Cheesy. Suck city. Epic fail. Stupid. Moronic. Retarded. Yeah, okay, all right. Thanks for playing, moron. What? The opposite of you. Smart. Come again? Getting into college, smart. Getting into college on a full scholarship, smart. Dominating an online poker, smart. Crushing AP physics, smart. Making a fortune selling X and never getting caught, smart. Some overlap, but basically different kinds of smart. The opposite of smart. Dumb. Flunking out of remedial English, dumb. Getting knocked up in 10th grade, dumb. Getting wasted with strangers, dumb. Thinking you're hot when you're not, dumb. Leading guys on, being a cock tea. Getting sloppy drunk. Posting crap all over Facebook. Twitter. YouTube. Instagram. Snapchat. Posting shit all over the place you shouldn't be posting, dumb. Like what? Like your life is really that interesting? Like you need to document every goddamn moment of your night and day? Like people need to see you high as a kite and acting a fool? Like people care? Running your mouth, dumb. Taking shit too far, dumb. Having sex with the wrong girl, dumb. Having sex with the wrong guy, dumb. Being in the wrong place at the wrong time, dumb. Not seeing the writing on the wall, dumb. Doing stupid shit you know you're going to regret, dumb. Pause. Rewind. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I need to backspace some time. So, here's the thing. Memory is a broken machine. People remember 
what they want to remember. They see things how they want to see them. It's not even like they're trying to lie. It's just that the brain isn't a video camera. That's not how it works. And then you add some alcohol. Okay, a lot of alcohol. And getting to the bottom of what happened, getting to some objective truth, well, that becomes pretty much impossible. All you're left with is he says, she says. Uh, looking for something? <laughs> you scared me. I didn't know anyone was out here. It's hot in there. How's that punch? <laughs> pretty nasty. You want some? Oh, come on. Oh, you can do better than that. What? Uh, nothing. You don't go to Hoover, do you? No. I didn't think so. I'd remember you. You, I would totally remember. So, where do you go? North Central. North Central? That's on the other side of the river. What are you doing on this side of the river? Uh, I'm at a party. Oh, right. Looking for some fun on a Friday night? A little adventure? A good time? Listen, I should probably get going. Oh, because me and my buddies, we were just about to head out. Maybe you want to come with? No, thanks. Oh, come on. The night is still young. I gotta go. Oh, come on. My friend's inside. I really gotta go. Hold up. Hold up. I have something to tell you. Hey, dude. We're out of here. Oh, am I like interrupting something? Pause. Rewind. He says, she says, part two. <laughs> it's hot in there. And loud. Want some? Uh, no thanks. You sure? I'm good. What is that? Pretty nasty is what it is. Sure you don't want to take? Nah. You sure? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Chloe. Connor. Oh, I know who you are. You're the famous Connor Wyland. Everyone knows who you are. You go to Hoover? Nope, North Central. It's on the other side of the river. What are you doing on this side of the river? Looking for some fun on a Friday night. Looking for a good time, a little adventure. That's good. Adventure is good. Right? Who doesn't want a little adventure? Only thing is, I've searched high and low. I've looked everywhere. And there's just no adventure to be had. Now you're supposed to ask me, what are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about that? What am I going to do about that? That is a very good question. I guess I'm just going to have to look a little bit harder. So you don't want to taste? No thanks. Well then, I guess I'm just going to have to finish it all by myself. <laughs> wow. Are you okay? Not for better. You sure? Absolutely. Okay, listen, I should probably get going. Hold up, hold up. I have something to tell you. Hey, Jeff, we're out of here. Oh! Am I like interrupting something? Okay, stop. Just stop for a second. I don't remember. But you left the party with those guys. Yeah, I guess. Because I was looking all over for you. I didn't know where you had gone to. I'm sorry. Because that's not cool, you know, just kind of leaving me there. In fact, it's kind of a shitty thing to do. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. It's fine. It's just, never mind. So, you don't remember anything after that second guy showed up? Because that's weird, not remembering. What? What do you want from me? I don't remember. But you left the party with them. Yes, I left the party with them. I obviously left the party with them. Well, what's the next thing you remember? I don't know. Do you remember going anywhere? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Well, where did you end up? Chloe. Some basement. I remember I opened my eyes and it was morning. There was these kind of half windows. You know, the kind they have in basements where you can look out and you can see the ground. And I remember I could see it was daylight. I remember there was these weird tiles on the ceiling and wood paneling on the walls and this carpet. There was this stain. And I remember staring at this stain. 
I remember my head hurt. My whole body hurt. I remember it smelled like cigarettes. I smelled like cigarettes and beer. I smelled like beer. I was lying on the couch and someone had put a blanket over me. And I was in my underwear and bra. Like someone had taken my clothes off. And I remember wondering where my clothes were. And being kind of freaked out because I didn't know where my clothes were. And then this guy came downstairs and asked me if I wanted a ride home. The guy you were talking to last night? No. The other one? No, some other guy. Some guy I'd never seen before. Where are my clothes? I, uh, hold on. Here. Thanks. Do you mind, Oh, uh... yeah, sure. You can turn around now. Can you give me a ride home? Yeah, sure, of course. Do you know where I live? No. I can tell you. Okay. Okay. What's your name again? Tanner. Do I know you, Tanner? No, I mean, not really, no. Is that your house we were at? Uh, yeah. I must have fallen asleep or something. Yeah. Is that what happened? Did I just, like, conk out? I guess. I'm not sure. I was pretty wasted, I guess. Can I put on the radio or something? Yeah, sure. I like this song. Do you like this song? Yeah, I do. What's that look? What? You looked at me funny just now. Sorry, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. What do you have to be sorry for? I don't know. Nothing. You're acting kind of strange. Is everything okay? Yeah, why well, wouldn't it be? I don't know. I just... I don't know. Tanner? Yeah? You would tell me, right? If anything was wrong? You would tell me, right? Yeah. Okay. Everything's good. It's all good. I'm just gonna take you home, and everything is gonna be okay. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, totally. So you're going to have to help me out up here. Am I going the right way? Is this right? Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going until I tell you when. Okay, all right. I wasn't in the car with them, obviously. But if I had been, I would have Instagrammed this moment right here. Because it's the moment right before. Before everything blew up. Before the shit hit the fan. Because it's like the last moment of some kind of innocence. When each of them thought for a second, for a split second, Maybe everything was going to be okay. What filter should I use? Walden? Toaster? Early bird? No. Sutro. Definitely Sutro. That sound? That sound right there is how it all began. It used to be a phone was for talking to people. Hello? Oh, hey, hey it's me. Wondering what you were up to Saturday night. Oh, I don't know. Nothing much. You want to maybe go out? Go see a movie or something? Sure. I would like that. Uh, cool. I'll pick you up at 8. Cool. 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 Ah, the good old days. When everything was simpler. More innocent. When a phone was for calling people. And guys called up girls to ask them out on dates. Remember dates? So old-fashioned. So quaint. You'd maybe go see a movie or something. And maybe you'd hold hands. And maybe, just maybe, there'd be a kiss. One little innocent kiss. Ah, the good old days of yesteryear. Now, well now it's a whole different story. Now a phone is not just a phone, it's a camera. Smile. Now a phone is not just a phone, it's how you get plugged in. It's how you stay connected. How you know what's happening. How you tell everybody, you know what's happening. You're just one click away from sharing with the whole wide world, whether you realize it or not, whether you want to or not. Oh, and dates. Forget about dates. Now it's all about hooking up. You don't date, you hook up. Hooking up is what? How can 
I describe hooking up? Hooking up is hooking up. It's casual. It's low key. It's no big deal. It's doing whatever with whomever. No strings attached. It's like anything goes. It's like anything can happen. If it feels good, hey, whatever. It's how it is. It's just how it is. Dude, it's the way of the world. So I'll see you around. Yeah, see you around. Like later, right? Like later tonight. Uh, tonight? At my party, I'm having a party like tonight. Oh, right, I forgot. So you'll be there. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. You know how it is. Yeah, totally. So, this was fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Later. Yeah, later. Oh my god. What are you doing? Waiting for you. Who was that guy? I don't know. He was cute, if you like that type. What, the good looking type? He's not that good looking. He is pretty good looking. And he's got a nice body, looks like he plays football. Yeah, whatever, I'm not into it. Not into what? That whole jock thing. Not my thing. Those guys are so arrogant, you know? It's like everyone keeps telling them how great they are. And then they start to believe it. And it's like, oh my god, there's not enough room in here for you, me, and your ego. You totally like him. I can tell. You totally do. Look, jocks are not my jam. Yeah? So what is your jam? You know. Unwashed poets. Skinny indie rockers. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I like my men. Skinny and unwashed. That is so gross, but it's kind of true. You just like guys. Admit it. Indie rocker, defensive lineman. At the end of the night, off come the pants, and it's all the same to you. Wow. What are you saying? You're saying that I'm a slut. You are, aren't you? That's kind of a harsh word. Yeah, pretty harsh. I would say so. Yeah, pretty harsh. I'm just saying you like guys. OK. I'm saying you like sex. So you're saying that I'm a slut. It's OK to like sex, isn't it? No. it's. Terrible to like sex. You're supposed to hate sex. Didn't you know? Sex is dirty. Sex is bad. You're kidding, right? Am I? It's okay to like sex, I think. Sex is nice. Sex is nice? That's like maybe the dumbest thing you have ever said. Okay, so maybe nice isn't the right word. It's not the word I'd use. But liking sex doesn't make you a slut, does it? I don't know. You tell me. You're the smart one. I'm just your slutty friend. Look, you're not a slut. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I meant it. It's just, I don't know. No, say it. What were you going to say? Just say it. It's just, you've been with a lot of guys, that's all. OK, look, a lot is like totally relative. Like, what's a lot? Five guys, 10 guys, 20. And so what if I've been with 20 guys? I haven't, by the way. But if I had, so what? I like sex. It's okay to like sex. It really is. Why do I have to pretend that I don't like sex? And why is it, if I like sex, I'm all of a sudden a slut? Which is a word I hate. I so hate that word. It's like one of those words guys use. Slut, gang, Stop! Oh. Just please stop. Sorry. It's like when guys say stuff like that, it's so... I know, I know. Okay, so moving on. How is a guy like a dog? You're joking, right? Well, I don't know. I give up. He's always happy to see you, and he never knows what he did wrong. <gasps> That's not funny. It so is. It's not funny. You laugh. I did not. You so did. That little wheeze laugh you do, you just did it just now. I did not wheeze laugh. You so do. <laughs> I do not sound like that. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Chloe. What? Are you drunk? Kidding there. Can I tell you something? I love vodka. I mean, I really love vodka. How can you not love vodka? I mean, rum. Okay, I can see that. You can get sick as a dog on rum. And tequila? Don't even get me started on tequila. Tequila's nasty. But vodka? I could 
drink vodka all night long. It's so smooth and clean. You hardly even taste it. It just kind of creeps up on you. Before you know it, you're like cleansed out of your mind. There she is. What are you wearing? Why, you don't like my outfit? It's kind of slutty. See, there's that word again, the S word. I'm just saying. Who's she? This is my friend Daphne. Daphne, this is my cousin Kylie. She just moved her from Milwaukee. Her mom and my mom are sisters. See the family resemblance? Not really. She looks like her dad. I do not. You kind of do. You got his nose. And his mouth. And his chin. You're basically a shorter version of your dad with tits. You are such a bitch. I'm a bitch and a slut. I'm two for two. So, where do you go? Hoover. Go? Mustangs. Woohoo! Shut up! I'm just kidding. Lighten up. So, are we going to this thing or what? She's not. She's not invited. You're not even really invited, but you're like my cousin, so whatever. Ignore her. No, I'm serious. The girl who's having the party was like, no randoms. Who cares? Look, maybe it's no big deal for you because you're never going to see these people again. But I have to go to school with them. And this girl, this girl Amber, this girl whose house it's at, you do not want to mess around with her. She's no joke. Oh, yeah? Is she the queen bee? Are you her little mini-me wannabe? I'm serious. God, you're such a suck-up. You're such a social climbing, status mongering, color inside the lines, don't rock the boat, let me. Okay, that's it, I'm done. Wait, 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 come on. It's like, you just say this stuff. It's like you act in this way. It's like you're just looking to piss people off. I was just kidding around. I'll behave, I promise. What about her? Daphne's gonna keep an eye on me, so you don't have to. Where'd you park? Oh, who said I was going to give you a ride? Come on, I make life interesting. You know it's true. I bring the party wherever I go. Hell, I am the party. Look, if you say or do some, something lame and stupid, I'm going to pretend I don't know you. Come on. I'm going to pretend I don't know you. And you can walk your ass on home. Walk home. I'm serious, Chloe. Deal? Fine, deal. Ask me what I like about parties, and I'll tell you. The sense of possibility. You only live once, right? You better make it count. Jump, 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 The beautiful thing about parties is that anything can happen. Things can get wild. Things can get crazy. Things get out of hand. And that's good, because most of the time, life is so boring. It's so boring, you want to kick somebody in the face. Go to school. Go to practice. Go to work. Go home. Play some Halo. Call of Duty. Eat some food. Watch some TV. Watch a game. Watch some porn. Yeah. Watch some more porn. Gross. Oh, watch some stupid YouTube video. Some stupid video of some stupid cat doing stupid cat tricks. God, I hate that shit. Play some Super Mario. Final Fantasy. Grand Theft Auto. Resident Evil. Donkey Kong. Street Fighter. Go. Eat some more food. Watch some more porn. Ew. You can be somebody else. You can be somebody else. You can lose yourself. You can do things. You can be this thing. You can be this whole other person. You can escape. And it's cool. It's so cool. Anything can happen. Anything. Anything. Pause. Rewind. This is not some kind of romantic love story, okay? This is not a rom-com. This is not some boy meets girl Hollywood fairy tale. This is something else. A chemistry experiment. 
You know the kind. You've got this mix of compounds, and it's volatile and unstable. And all you need to do is add one new element to the mix, and the whole thing goes kapow! <laughs> some air. Do I know you? I'm a friend of a friend. Oh yeah? Well, what's your friend's name? I forget. I have this thing where I forget people's names. Yeah, it's called being drunk off your ass. <laughs> you think I'm drunk? I think I'm just really, really happy. What exactly are you wearing? You like it? It's definitely a statement. Oh yeah, what's it saying? I'm a slut. <laughs> There's that word again. And I'm a slut because why? Because my skirt's too short? Because my top's too tight? According to who? According to you. Because the way you're dressed, I wouldn't be dishing out fashion advice if I were you. What? Oh my god. See, you think you're hot, but you're not. You're just slutty. You're just some trailer trash slut. And that's not hot. That's just sad and pathetic. Amber, right? You must be Amber. Yeah, so do I even know you? No, you don't. You don't know me at all. Then what are you even doing here, bitch? I'm asking myself the same question. Cause I gotta say, this might be like the worst party ever. <laughs> this party is lame. It's so lame. If they were giving out prizes for the lamest party ever, this one would win gold. Oh my God, Chloe, can we just go? If this party is so lame, then why don't you just go? Why don't you and your slutty outfit and your cheap fuck me pumps just walk out that door? Wow, so hostile. You wanna know what I think? I think you're jealous. I think you are jealous of me. Are you for real? Real as real can be. I really, really think we should go. Oh, we just got here. Chloe, please. Bitch, you better get the fuck out of here if you know what's good for you. Okay. All right, I don't want to outstay my welcome. That would be rude. I don't want to be rude to all these lovely ladies here. Just give me a sec. I gotta use the loo. I'll be right back. 
I want her gone now. You better go get your friend and get the hell out of here. You better be gone like right now, like yesterday. I tell her not to pull this shit and what does she do? It's like she does the one thing I tell her not to do. It's like she can't help herself. I'm so over her. She's drunk. You think? I shouldn't even be talking to you. Just get her out of here. Get her out of here now. Holly! Where did you go? I was drunk. It's true. Not so drunk I couldn't stand. Not drunk like that. Not yet. Because you see, that's the problem with drinking. At first, there is no problem. At first, it's great. You drink or I drink, because there's this thing that happens after the first drink or two. It's like, it's like you feel powerful. Like you can do things, like you can say things, things you never do or say, not in a million years. Like you can tell off that girl you've always wanted to tell off, or talk to some guy you don't even know. Some guy you see from across the room. Some guy you kind of like, or think you like, because it's not like you even know him. But it doesn't even matter, because for a little while, the world's just shinier and brighter and full of possibility. And it feels great. It feels so great. Until all of a sudden it doesn't. Until all of a sudden it all comes crashing down. What happened to me? What did they do? What did they do to me? Because I don't remember. And that's the truth. I don't remember. The last thing I remember was being in the backyard with him. And he said, or maybe I said, I, I have, have something, something to tell, tell you. Hey, Jim, where are you? Oh, am I like interrupting something? Pause. In the olden days, the story would end right about here. A young woman goes to a party and has one drink too many. Maybe when she's not looking, some guy slips something in her drink without her ever realizing. Whatever happens to her after that, well, we can speculate all we want, but there's no way to know for sure, because the young men, they're not talking. They're not saying a word. And the young woman, she can't remember. When she thinks back on that night after a certain point in the evening, there's just nothing there. It's like all of a sudden somebody turned off the lights. It's like all of a sudden blackout. Remember when a phone was just a phone? Now it's a camera and so much more. It's how you get plugged in. It's how you stay connected. How you know what's happening. How you tell everybody you know what's happening. You're just one click away from sharing with the whole wide world. Whether you realize it or not, whether you want to or not. <laughs> Hashtag dead girl walking. <laughs> Hashtag drunk girls are easy. <laughs> Hashtag it's not rape if they're passed out. <laughs> Hashtag sorry not sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Hey, hey! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What is going on? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You know. How can you not know? Do something. You need to do something. Do what? Get her out of there. Take her home. Help her. She's passed out. Yeah, I can see that. Everybody can see that. What do you mean everybody? Dude, what is wrong with you? Don't you get it? Your buddy is taking pictures and live tweeting everything. And if I can see what's going on, you better believe everybody else can. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. OMG. OM fucking G. And I don't know exactly what's going on, but I have a pretty good idea. And it doesn't look good. In fact, it looks really bad. It looks sick and fucked up and wrong. And I know you're not down with it, because I know you. And unlike all those other assholes, you're actually, like, a good person. You're actually a good and decent person. And I know you know this is fucked up. This is so fucked up. So whatever's happening, you better do something. You better do something now. What do I do? What can I do? There's nothing I can do. Pause. Rewind. 
We need to go back. We need to go back to the first tweet. The very first one. <laughs> Hashtag dead girl walking. Hey. Hey. Brian's kind of lame. It's so lame. Right? Oh my god, it's so lame. You maybe want to go for a ride somewhere? With you? Why not? Like where? You tell me. What's going on? <laughs> Watch. Watch and learn. We could go anywhere. Anywhere, huh? Anywhere you want. Your wish is my command. Oh, check it out. He's going in for the kill. Oh, careful! Careful! <laughs> Easy does it. Whoa. I fell. You fell. I'm a little wobbly. You're a little wobbly. I don't feel so good. You just need to get out of here. Get some air. Let's just get out of here. Where to? You tell me. Anywhere you want. Anywhere I want? Anywhere you want. Okay. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And there you have it. Grand slam, three-point shot for the win. And that, gentlemen, is how it's done. <laughs> and now we come to a fork in the road. Because every night like this has a fork in the road. A moment when you can't turn back. A point in time when you think... If things had been different. If I hadn't gone to that party. If I hadn't gone into that car. If I had said something. If I had done something. If I had taken her home. If I hadn't let her out of my sight. Sometimes I wish I could go back and do things differently. I would give everything if I could just go back. I was home. It was Friday night when all of a sudden I get this tweet. Hashtag dead girl walking. And then another. Hashtag tie for the win. And then another. And another one after that. Hashtag drunk girls are easy. Hashtag it's not rape if they don't say no. Hashtag it's not rape if they're passed out. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. And it wasn't just He was posting all these photographs. Photographs of this girl I didn't know. This girl I'd never seen before. This girl with a plastic cup full of, I don't know what, vodka, rum, Everclear. This girl in a skirt the size of a postage stamp. And she'd been drinking. A lot. You could tell. She was so drunk. I had never seen her like that. No, like that. She was trash. She was wasted. She was so wasted. And the girl, she wasn't alone. She was with this guy, this guy I knew. And as this moron keeps tweeting and I'm looking at the photos, I realize I know these guys. I know all of them. If I had known, if I had known what would happen. It was messed up. It was stupid. The whole thing was so stupid. Dude, it was crazy. It was insane. That girl, she was so fucked up. Dude, she was so fucked up. I had never seen her like that, not like that. She was out of control. That girl had a problem. That girl talked way too much shit. And the way she was dressed. That girl comes into my house, drunk off her ass, dressed like that, and talking shit. You better believe she's gonna have a problem. Who just crashes a party like that? Who does that? Who leaves with some guy she doesn't even know? Who goes to a house with a whole bunch of guys, all of these guys she doesn't even know? And lets them do everything they did. Dude, if some guy did that to me, I would kill them. Seriously, I would hunt them down and kill them. Like, some of the stuff, if not even... It's just not normal. It's gross. It's sick. It makes me sick to be a female in a world where females get treated like that. Yeah, but who puts herself in a situation like that? What kind of girl does that? You think this can't happen to you? What happened to you would never happen to me. I'm nothing like you. Yeah? You think so? Think again. This could happen to you. And you. And you. This could happen to all of you. And if you think it can't, you're just lying to yourselves. Pause. Okay, so, moment of truth. The drunk girl leaves the party and gets into a car with some guys she does not know. And goes to the house of a guy she does not know and engages in a whole bunch of sexual acts with guys she does not know. And passes out. You can see in the photos, she's passed out. They're doing these things to her and she's just like passed out because she was drunk she was beyond drunk dude she was so drunk it's like she was dead deader than anna nicole smith deader than oj's wife deader than whitney houston oh that's pretty damn dead that's so dead that's like sick of four of her dead stop just please stop <laughs> but they don't stop they keep tweeting and posting pictures and then they make a video. They make a fucking video. Did you see it? Oh my god. If I were her, I would die. I would just like die. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. 
so you know. You know what happened, right? I guess. You guess? She's, like, naked. She's, like, completely naked, and they're doing things to her. She's passed out and naked, and they're doing things to her while their buddies watch. Well, part of that is confusing to you. I would die. If that was me, I would just, like, die. <laughs> the worst part is how they're laughing. <laughs> they're just laughing like it's the funniest thing in the world. And they're talking about what they're going to do to her. Like, it's also a big joke. What they did to her is just, like, gross. It's, like, sick. It's, like, not normal. Seriously, I don't know how you let yourself be degraded like that. You don't. Excuse me? Don't you get it? She didn't let them do any of that to her. She was passed out. She was she was unconscious. Who are you again? Oh, right. You're the friend. You're the friend who just stood there and did nothing. You're the friend who let her friend drink herself to oblivion and then get fucked by a bunch of football players. Seriously. Where were you when all this went down? Your friend was a red hot mess. That girl was a train wreck. Everybody knew just by looking at her what was gonna happen. What? That should get raped? That is not what happened. It's not that simple. That girl did not get raped. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that word. I mean like rape? That's different. That's like you're in a dark alley and some guy jumps out and grabs you. So it has to be a stranger in order for it to be rape. That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? It's like rape is, I don't know, it's rape. It's different. It's like she was talking to those guys. She was all like flirting with them. She was talking with them. She got into a car with them. What the hell did she think was going to happen? Did she think they were going to go take her to get a snow cone? What was she thinking? You should have taken her home when we told you to. It would have saved us all a lot of drama. Like now, my house, people are like, that's the house where the girl got raped. She did not get raped. Yeah, dude, that's not what happened. That That's so not what happened. Like I said, we're not using that word. I don't care. The thing is, whatever happened, it didn't even happen in my house. Some random girl crashed my party. That's what happened in my house. And now people drive by and they're like, oh, that's the rape house. Is that like all you care about? What people are saying about your house? That girl did not get raped. That is such bullshit! Is she saying she got raped? I'm not using that word. That's like a really charged word. You should have done something. You should have taken her home. I didn't know where she went. She was there one minute and then she wasn't. Well, maybe you should have kept a closer eye on her. Maybe if you had let her wander off, none of this would have happened. So what? She's supposed to babysit her friend all night. She's supposed to follow her around just in case she gets into trouble. She's supposed to have a crystal ball and predict what's going to happen. She's supposed to be her friend. She's supposed to look out for her. She's supposed to have her back. If that girl was that drunk, her friend should have taken her home. Whatever. She was asking for it. Asking to be raped? Do you really think it was rape? Is that really what you think? Nobody is using that word. Nobody is calling it that. Do I look like a rapist? You sure do. You know why? Because you are one. Fuck you! Let it go. What does a rapist even look Apparently, like? Apparently he looks like you, and you, and you. What about him? He was there the whole time. I didn't see him do anything. I didn't hear him say anything. Does that make him a rapist? He's just a coward. It wasn't rape. It wasn't like that. Nobody is using that word. I am not using that word. Because anyone who uses that word, they don't know what happened. Anyone who calls it that, they don't have a clue. You really think she wanted for this to happen? You actually think that? You don't actually know what happened. You saw some pictures, you saw some video of some girl. And I admit, it looks bad. Dude, I saw everything. Everybody saw everything. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it seems. So, you're saying nothing happened? I'm not saying anything until I lawyer up. Personally, I think she was having a good time. I think she liked all the attention. I think she was enjoying herself. Because she was passed out, you fucking tool. She wasn't passed out the whole time. And she was drunk, sure, but just because you're drunk doesn't mean you don't want it. You're saying she wanted to be raped by a bunch of guys she didn't know. You don't know what happened. You're just jumping to a whole bunch of conclusions. Meanwhile, there's a bunch of people that saw that girl come on to me at a party. There's a bunch of people that saw her get into a car with me and my friend. Nobody twisted her arm. Nobody forced her to do anything. She was so drunk, she could barely stand. You think she knew what was going on? Whatever. Everybody else did. Everybody knew what was going to happen. What? That should get raped by you, by you, and by you? Everybody knew that? It's not what you think. And you are? Oh, right. 
You're the star quarterback who fucked her while she was unconscious. So classy, so smooth. Way to go, Romeo. That is such bullshit. That's not what happened. You don't even know what happened. You're making all these assumptions and you don't know shit. And who are you again? Oh, right. You're the lame brain with a camera who live tweeted himself and his buddies raping some drunk girl and then made a video and posted it on YouTube. Are you retarded or what? Seriously, you must be the king of retards. Who the fuck does this bitch think she is? Let me tell you who I am. I'm the bitch who's going to call the cops on you, bitch. I'm the bitch who saw what was happening that night because your moronic friend decided to live tweet it. I'm the one who's going to blow the whistle on your sorry asses. Because I'll tell you what, I don't care if that girl was drunk and naked and walking down the middle of the main street. That does not give you a free pass to rape her. It wasn't rape. Nobody raped anybody. You don't know what happened. None of you know what happened. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it seems. Yeah, you go with that when the cops question you, see how far it gets you. Wait. Please wait. Please don't do this. Why are you doing this? That's not the question you should be asking. The question you should be asking is why didn't you? Hello? 911? Yeah, I'd like to report a rape. Please, stop. The first time I saw that video, I didn't even know what I was seeing. It was like the day after the party, and I was like, why did someone send me this pornographic video of these guys and this naked girl? And then I realized that that girl, that was me. That girl was me. And I wanted to just, I wanted to disappear. Those pictures, those tweets, that video they posted on YouTube, every kid in that school saw that stuff. They saw everything. They saw it all. And then they reposted it on their Facebook pages. They retweeted it over and over again. And then there was that girl, the girl who called 911. She wasn't at the party, but I guess she was friends with one of the guys involved. You would think with everybody seeing those pictures and that video, you would think with the 911 call and the cops being involved, you would think there would be this huge outcry. You would think the community would rise up as one in outrage and moral indignation at what happened to this girl. You would think they would be so angry at what a group of young men did to this girl. You would think that and you would be wrong. When I called the police station to see what was up, I got transferred to some cop who told me, uh, we don't comment on ongoing investigations. And when it looked like nothing was happening on that end, I talked to my lawyer friend and she said, Did they do a rape kit? Did the girl press charges? Sometimes they don't press charges. They don't want to talk about it. They just want the whole thing to go away. And then I thought maybe we hear from a parent, a teacher, a coach. Maybe an adult would step in and say something. But nothing. Not a word. It was like a wall of silence. Nobody was talking. The girl wasn't talking. And the other kids, it was like no big deal. 
Monday rolled around and it was like nothing had ever happened. I'm taking AP English and I have so much reading to do. I'm trying out for regionals and it's no joke. The competition is like unreal. I'm working extra shifts at that ice cream place in the mall. I'm saving up. I'm also taking AP History, AP Chemistry, and AP Physics. I'm taking a lot of APs. I'm getting good. I'm getting so good. I'm getting like Division One good. I'm also working at Old Navy. I hop and Forever 21. I'm working a lot. I don't even know how I work so much. I'm saving up to go somewhere. I don't know where. Just somewhere else. Somewhere far away from here. Because you want to know a secret? I hate this place. I really hate it. I hate it so much. I hate all the people. I hate how they are. I hate how I am when I'm with them. I hate it. I hate it too. I hate this school. Me too. The girls are so harsh. Oh my god. So harsh. They're so mean. So mean. And the only thing anybody cares about is football. Football. What's the matter? What's wrong with you? You've had your head up your ass all day and I'm sick of it. You gotta get your head in the game, man. You gotta focus. The cops know. Yeah? So? So what? So they know. They know what happened. They don't really know what happened. What are you talking about? There's like pictures. There's like a video. They know what happened. It's just a joke. We were just joking around. Yeah, line up. What's the big deal? Seriously, it's funny, dude. The whole thing was funny. It was fucked up. It was so fucked up. Dude, that shit was funny. It's not funny. It was messed up and wrong. Just stop. Get your head out of your ass. If none of us talks, there's no problem. Yeah, we all just keep quiet and there's no problem. You don't get it. The way that you see what happened, that's not how other people see it. Dude, my dad's a lawyer. And they have to prove all this stuff they can't prove. Never stalks, they can't prove anything. And that girl was passed out, and she was out. That girl doesn't remember shit. And if she does, dude, she's not gonna wanna say a thing. Seriously. She's just gonna want it all to go away. Uh, seriously. She's not gonna wanna talk about this to anybody. Least of all some cops. What if we just go in and explain what happened? Say we made a mistake. Say we're sorry. We're not doing that. If we do that, we're all going to jail. I'm not going to jail. I'm going to college. I'm going to a good college and playing football. That's the plan. That's been the plan for as long as I can remember. And I'm not letting you, or some girl, or anybody else, fuck up that plan. What about the pictures? What about the video? We need to delete it all. We need to do it now. We need everybody we know to delete everything. We need to just erase it all like it never happened. Delete. 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 I don't believe you. What are you doing? I don't want to go to jail. So it's okay for you for this girl to be raped and nothing happened? That's okay with you? Say something. Say something! In the olden days, that would have been that. It would all just fade away. They'd all get on with their lives. They'd go to college. They'd play football or soccer or the cross. They'd graduate, get jobs, get married, they'd have kids. They'd live happily ever after. Everybody, that is, except for the girl who got raped. And will never be the same again because when something that bad happens to you, it lives with you for the rest of your life. It's with you every day, always. But hey, they're not thinking about her. They don't even really know her. She's an abstraction, she's a mistake, she's a thing that's getting in the way of their best laid plans. A thing that's causing problems for them. So here's what they do. They don't say anything. They pinky swear, they'll never talk, and then they delete all the pictures, the text, the tweets, the video, everything. And they think that's the end of it. But it's not. Because this is where I come in. People think when they delete a post, when they deactivate their Facebook account, they think, that's that. Done, done, and done. But it's not so simple. For someone like me, who knows a thing or two about computers, it's amazing how easy it is to retrieve just about anything. A deleted photograph, an incriminating text, a sexually graphic video you just wished would go away. It's amazing, really. Everything leaves a trail, a residue. You follow it and voila! There's the photos, the texts, the video. Let's not forget the video. You thought it was gone forever, but you were wrong. 
people like me will find whatever it was you thought you would delete it. Whatever it was you just wished would go away. And here's the really nifty thing. I press one button, and out it goes into the world. And then it all started going viral. Before you knew it, everybody saw the texts, the tweets, the photos. Everybody saw the YouTube video. Over a million hits in the first 24 hours. And then the news media started to smell blood. CNN, MSNBC, Fox News. Before you knew it, this thing that happened in some little town in the middle of nowhere was on the evening news and all over the blogosphere. It was all anybody could talk about. Everybody was talking about kids these days. Kids these days. We need to talk about kids these days. We really need to talk about kids these days. What you have to understand about kids these days. The thing about kids these days. The problem with kids these days. The thing we forget about kids these days. Blah, blah, blah. Kids these days. Just shut up about kids these days. The news media talked to anyone and everyone they could find. They talked to the girl who made the 911 call. Yeah, I called 911. I mean, obviously, it's a crime. A girl's unconscious and she's getting sexually assaulted. Yeah, I'd say that's a crime. But the thing I don't get is why nobody did anything. Nobody was like, this is wrong, stop. I don't get that. I mean, don't you learn that kind of stuff from your parents and your teachers and your coaches? Don't they teach that kind of stuff anymore? Like what it means to be a good kid, a good person. Like what it means to do the right thing. Did nobody teach that to these kids? Like, where were all the grown-ups? What the hell were they thinking? Good question. They talked to those grown-ups. They talked to the coaches, the parents. They wanted to know, how could something like this happen? Okay, hold up. Just hold up. I know these boys. I coach these boys every single day. And these boys, these are good kids. Now, I don't know what happened that night. Truthfully, I don't think anyone does. All I'm saying is the kids, you know, they got all these hormones going, and they get drunk, and they get a little stupid, and maybe things get a little out of hand, but boys will be boys, you know what I'm saying? My daughter Amber didn't even know that girl. That is not the kind of girl my daughter Amber would be friends with, not in a million years. Amber has a 4.2 average. She's captain of her soccer team. She's a very directed young lady. Amber doesn't associate with girls like that. So what happened to that girl, while unfortunate, has nothing to do with my Amber. This whole thing is bullshit. It's bullshit. My son tied into a damn thing. And this girl, it's like she's trying to ruin his life. This is his damn life we're talking about. Some girls ask for it. They just do. They put it all out there, and then they act surprised when some guy takes them up on it. And maybe you hate me for saying it, but it's the truth. I tell my daughter, don't you ever be that girl. Don't you ever be that stupid. You know damn well what the world looks like. Don't pretend like you don't. What are we even talking about? Kids do stupid things all the time. They're kids. Kids are stupid. And now this girl, she's blowing it all out of proportion. She's making a big deal over nothing. She's ruining my son's life. Why would you set about to destroy this young man's life? All his hopes, all his dreams. Why would you do that? My son has a shot at playing college ball. He's been working for that for a long, long time. It's everything. This is his life. This is my son's life. And now, I don't know what's going to happen. That girl is a goddamn troublemaker is what she is. She brought this all on herself. You know why this happened? I'll tell you why. This happened because she couldn't keep her legs together. That's what this is about. Some girl who couldn't keep her legs together. The way some people around here talk, it's not right. It's just not right. They talk about how she's ruining these boys' lives. Well, what about her life? She has a life, too. I feel for that girl. I really do. People always say, act like a lady, and you're going to get treated like a lady. The only thing is, that's not true. You want to know a secret? It doesn't matter how you act. What happened to that girl could happen to any girl, no matter how she acts. If you're a girl, you better watch yourself. Boys are going to want one thing, and girls are going to hate you for it. You can't win, you just can't. That's how it was when I was her age, and that's how it is now. Same, Same as it ever was. was! We like to think things have changed, but they haven't. They really haven't. Not at all. All of a sudden, everybody had something to say. And while all the grown-ups tried to figure out how something like this could happen, those kids, the kids involved, they tried to erase their tracks. They tried to, de to delete and deactivate everything they could. But they couldn't, because there was some stranger in a hoodie out there. Someone smarter than they were. Someone who knew about computers. Someone who kept digging up the photos, the text, the tweets, the video. Someone who made it impossible for them to pretend like this didn't happen. Someone who refused to let it go away. And whoever that someone was, 
They'd been watching. They'd been watching for a long time. They had some connection, an ax to grind. Whoever that someone was, it was personal. I would have given anything to know who she was and why. Why do you think it was a she? I don't know. It's just a hunch, a gut feeling. What would you have asked her? I would have asked, why are you doing this? I would have asked, who are you? And she would have said, because I know what it feels like when something bad happens. Because I know what it feels like when nobody does anything about it. Because once, not that long ago, I was a girl who went to a party. And I had too much to drink. And I ended up in a car with a bunch of guys. And things happened to me. Bad things. The only difference is we never got to where we were going. The only difference is... The car we were in crashed that night. And all the boys walked away. They all walked away without a scratch and left me like this. Later, people said it was a miracle I survived, but it wasn't a miracle. I survived because I have a job to do. People talk about karma. They act like karma is this abstract thing, but it's not. I am karma. You want to know what karma is? You're looking at her, and I am real. Oh, am I real? It's amazing what happens when your life is destroyed and you have nothing left but time. Time to think about what happened. Time to see how things are all interconnected, how we are all interconnected. Oh, and yeah, I also had time to learn a thing or two about computer systems. Firewalls, encryptions, security protocols. Like I said, it's all interconnected. There's so much information out there. It's right there, right in front of you. You just need to know where to look. So if I asked you what happened that night, would you tell me the truth? The whole thing, the whole thing, it just got out of hand. It got stupid. The whole thing, it just got so stupid. And things happen. They just happen. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Sorry about what happened to her? Or sorry about what's gonna happen to you? Because odds are you're gonna be indicted. And whether or not you get convicted, whenever anyone looks at you, they're gonna think there's that guy that raped that girl. There's that guy who took pictures of the whole thing. There's that guy who just stood there and let it happen. And that's going to be with you. For the rest of my life. 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 Just like what happened to her is going to be with her. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, this will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part, part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. This will be part of the story I tell. But it won't be the whole story, because that girl they said I was, I'm more than that girl. That guy they're talking about? That girl they're talking about? That's not all of who I am. That's not all of who I am. That's not who I am. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. It's not the whole picture. It's not the whole story. It's just a part. It's just one part. Because there's all these other parts of me that you don't know. There's this part of me that I don't show to other people. There's this part of me that I keep hidden. There's this part of me that's still the little kid you see in photos. That kid is still a part of me. It's that part of me that nobody ever sees. It's that part of me that's like the future me. It's like the future version of me. And he's nothing like the guy you met that night. And she's nothing like the girl you met that night. He's nothing like the guy you met that night. Because the future version of me is a different person. He's a completely different person. A braver person. A more honest person. That's what I believe. It's 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 what I have to believe.
you to feel a part of me. It's that part of me that nobody ever sees. It's that part of me that's like the future me. It's like the future version of me. And he's nothing like the guy you met that night. And she's nothing like the girl you met that night. He's nothing like the guy you met that night. Because the future version of me is a different person. He's a completely different person. A braver person. A more honest person. That's what I believe. It's 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 what I have to believe. We're gonna we're gonna call the cast out and just spend a, a few minutes together. So you guys wanna yeah, I, don't know I would say there's dissonance going on in you. You're asking yourselves, or you're wanting to say this couldn't happen in our town, or I wouldn't do this, or I'm not like that, or I would stand up and prevent that. I mean, if you're anything like me, those are some of the things that you're 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 thinking about, and it's and that's and it's hard. Like this is not an easy thing to go through, and you should be asking yourself those questions and a bunch of others. Let's just take five minutes because I know we're running a little bit late. Do you guys want to share some stuff and then maybe field some questions? Just on what you said, mm -hmm. um, this did happen here. This happened at the public high school like 12 years ago. Like 12 years ago, basically the same story. A girl got really drunk at the party and she was raped by a bunch of football players. And this is at our public high school. This happened on this island. And I know that this island feels really safe, but I think it's important to point that out. Definitely. So that it can happen anywhere. It's not like, oh, that doesn't happen to us. It's somewhere else. It's something else. It's not that. It's everywhere. Yeah. I think. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. So you go. Wait. Change your question. Okay. I'll just stay there. Questions for the questions for the cast. Questions. Bailey. If you were to actually live this, would you choose to forget any of the memories or events that you Oh, good question. Gee. I say at the end of the play, you know, this will be with me for the rest of my life. Yeah. I mean, I don't think yeah. these are moments that you could ever forget if yeah. they, I you experience this. I think yeah, you I could definitely you, uh, respond differently than most of our characters did. Mm -hmm. I would yeah. hope you would. Mm -hmm. um, and that would make it almost easier to remember, I guess. But I feel like that's something that you would, would not forget. Yeah. Yeah. Traumatic events tend to leave a mark in your memory more so than nearly anything else. Although there's also something in psychology where you don't remember a traumatic event <laughs> yeah, at all. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. within the community, not yeah. just yeah. like, no, no, not I, like I the know. victim, just, but like I'm just putting it out there. Whatever. Just putting the psychology <laughs> out there. But it's also yeah. important to know that there's help out there and that, 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 that healing can happen. And if you can reach out to um, different organizations or, or therapists or and seek help, then that that can, you know, yeah. it, it can your story can change. What was um, what was the hardest thing for you? You know, performing this. What what's the hardest thing for you? Uh, easily, getting on stage. And saying lines like it's not rape if you pass out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah. really awful. It feels so incredibly awful to say. Mm -hmm. Or she's asking for it. Or yeah. 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 What is she wearing? Like it's just it's such. It feels, feels bad. But, yeah. yeah. But it also it also would be an injustice to not put that out there because that isn't what happens. Like yeah. these are things that people say. These are genuine reactions that many people have. Um, but being able to step into the shoes of these characters and understand why they're saying what they did and all, all of that is very difficult, especially at first. Um, also, I think uh, being able to connect with these people and have them as classmates, but also as people who are part of this play um, is very difficult. Love you too, Quinn. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. The hardest part for me is the uh, 
video audio. Yeah. That yeah. I think is mm. cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just like acting in it, it sort of it opened my eyes a little bit more to it because it's like you don't really think about it every day, mm -hmm. nor should you necessarily. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's sort of opening my eyes to it, and that that is a thing, and that could happen to someone near me or myself at some point in my life, and it's like just being aware of that is yeah. like whoa. There is certainly a massive awareness that it's raised yeah. within me, and I think everyone else that this yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Oh and yeah. also like uh, at the age that we are, because the age we are now, and up until like. 25 like throughout college they're like the end of, like high school and college but college mostly is the most uh the most likely time that people this happens. yeah that this happens mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the most mm -hmm. common like t time bracket yeah. are you guys hopeful for changing tremendously i mean, yeah. I mean even the fact is. that we've we're able to do this play in a yeah. high school. Like, yeah. there's yeah. mostly colleges are doing this, but we were able to do it here in a high school with eighth graders. I think that's phenomenal. I mean, yeah. I, th I think it's important that, you know, especially like Chris, that Chris is willing to put on a show like this and that yeah. we have people who are willing to put on a show like this in high school. Yeah. And, and it's, it's yeah. kind of sad to me as well. I'm not sure how true this is, but it almost kind of feels like a lot of other high schools try to avoid plays that have. Actually, yeah. Yeah. focus yeah. on a very serious issue. Whereas I feel like most of the our schools plays try and focus on some issue that is out there right now, with yeah. like anonymous elephant graveyard, yeah. the also, good kids. The support we've got from the we've gotten from the community about this yeah. is because we have had a lot of support from different organizations right. in the community coming and talking to us, coming and talking at our show, yeah. bringing speakers, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's been. The fact that we have so many great organizations like Safe San Juan, mm -hmm. who did help empower us and make us feel comfortable to put on a show like this, mm -hmm. is also incredibly yeah. valuable. And I feel like it's not just our island too, because like it's been kind of cool, because we've been able to watch the social media, mm -hmm. like really supporting us. They have like the Me Too movement where people can go on and just say they support it and say that you're not alone, mm -hmm. and just kind of cool to know that other people out there are like helping speak up against mm -hmm. the stuff that's happening. Because I don't think we would have seen that quite as much as even like seven years ago. When yeah, we're also going over to Orcas High School, which is cool because we're going over to completely other island, and then we've been welcomed there, and that's that's cool too. Question: A couple of questions from the audience. Questions? As you try and questions you might ask that might help you or your friends sort through this. you feel like things are kind of getting out of control. Which <laughs> 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 you don't party that <laughs> much, Taylor. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, we party every night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just remember as a sophomore I mean, going to my first party, and I didn't even know there would be alcohol there, and I was pretty shocked <laughs> how people were acting. So I called my father, <laughs> use the landline. I called my father and said, come pick me up. I don't like what's going on here. And it was shocking to me. That was my first experience with um, kids being drunk. And so I just wonder if, if, have you guys had that experience where you, like, wait a minute, what's happening with my classroom? Uh, I'll, I'll share. Uh, <laughs> that's a really yeah. I'm gonna share. Question. I'm gonna share yeah. a little. <laughs> I'm gonna share a little story here that it comes from. Some of you know. Anyone know the Mazzarellas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so the twins. One's at uh, I think Berkeley, and the other's at Tufts. And then who else? Oh, there was God. There's one other. There's all in the last couple of days. Oh, at one of the Washington schools. Uh, Lori Paul's son. Sam, mm -hmm. they Pullman is it Pullman? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were just they were just talking with their moms, and each of them has joined a fraternity. And in general, for parents, when their kids join a fraternity, most parents sort of go like, "There's this level of fear," um, because there's lots of negative things associated with fraternities. There are also some positive things, and, and um, about them as well. But as parents, you know, we're go, we go to the negative. We're, we're being protective. Mm -hmm. And each of those three kids 
describe their fraternities as pretty good ones because uh, the culture there wasn't very rapey. So that's, that's the lingo in college now, and that's, by the way, a positive statement that the culture <laughs> is not very, our fraternity is not very rapey. Yeah. Not very, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it should just be not, yeah, like, yeah. should it just be uh, not, 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 So, and that's Berkeley, and that's Tufts, and that's Pullman, a wide section, and for those of you who are either going to college really soon or in like a few months and those who are going in, in a few years, that is the culture that you get to change perhaps. And weren't they yeah. also told like don't go like don't go anywhere near the drunk girls because you'll get accused of rape? Right, the one at at Pullman, they were counseling or, or, or insisting that the members in that fraternity, if they see uh, someone really drunk who needs their help, don't give them help. Especially drunk single girls. Because you could get in trouble for that. And that boy's mom made it really clear, don't you ever be afraid to help someone, that you do the right thing. But so it's just interesting. I think we live a little bit on an island, metaphorically and literally. But I also think that there is a lot to be hopeful for and that you, you guys can affect change. Um, I'm just being mindful of the time. Other questions? <laughs> did you say no or not? Yeah, Kane, did you have a question you want to ask? <laughs> yeah, Kane. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Not a good Kane. Yeah. Thank you, everybody.